a rainbow, a magical light that the world resolutely displays in the sky after a rain. Our existence within that world is like the elementary particles that make up everything. And the waves, through collision and interference, they suddenly change all of the elements, like the twilight of that day. <laughs> so I noticed that and I said to her, you're wrong, teacher. She got really mad. <laughs> I'm impressed, Rika. No big deal. I am so unable to be intimidated. <laughs> Rika, the head monkey on Monkey Hill, always boasting about herself, taking the role of leader. <laughs> Doesn't she have an illegitimate child or something? <laughs> <laughs> Misaki, always looking for the weaknesses of others. A coward who makes herself look good by putting down others. <laughs> now, nobody knows if it's really hmm? true, right? Oh, you are kidding! Oh, of course you, you know. <laughs> Atsumi, a peon latching onto the coattails of others. I suppose that's the easy way to go. Can you believe this? Oh, I know, a girl in Group B. Yeah, you're plenty annoying as well. <laughs> That's so true. I've thought that for a long time. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> really? It's <laughs> so typical. I mean, I, I, I thought so too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye. bye. I'll see you later. Bye. See ya. <laughs> bye. <laughs> that kind of yeah, behavior I doesn't fly in our school. Amazing. <laughs> Midori Kagawa, a split personality. Thank you. 
someone's moving in? Uh. Excuse me. This is the last of it. This is still going up. That's okay. I just have to get something I forgot. It smells like flowers. What floor? My name is Mayumi Iwase. I'm charmed. <laughs> is that it? Yes. What about your hobbies or strong points? Nothing in particular. I see. Then what about your hopes for the future? There's nothing really. Except perhaps... Yes? Uh, I mean, my hope is that the world won't be destroyed. <laughs> All right, take a seat. There's one there. Yes. Right then, let's begin. Today, I want you to turn to page 112 of the textbook. I want to talk about the particle characteristics of the electron. In other words, when observing electrons, the moment its coordinates have been determined, its momentum is no longer definable. On the other hand, if you can measure its momentum, you will not be able to define its coordinates. This is the Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. Iwata, hey. Oh, uh, yes? Can you explain what I just said to the class? Uh, um, uh... Describe the Copenhagen interpretation of quantum theory. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> then please pay attention. Now... Miss Owase. Miss Mayumi Owase? Huh? Yes. Could you tell us about the Copenhagen interpretation? The Copenhagen interpretation? Do you not know? Yes, I do. In the quantum realm, coordinates and momentum cannot be measured together. Further, the interpretation suggests a theory in which matter exists, given that the micro-realm is basically indefinable. 
Bohr and Heisenberg developed this theory during their physics research in Copenhagen, known as the Copenhagen Interpretation. Wow, isn't it hard? She really knows her stuff. Okay, that's correct. But... Isn't the macro realm simply a series of micro realms? Well, what do you mean? If the world is defined by quantum theory, this means that our own existence is clearly and universally defined. I'm sure. I believe that you're referring to Everett's many worlds interpretation. You didn't have to go that far, you know? Sit down. I appreciate that you've studied, but at least open your textbook, okay? I'm sorry. Right. We were distracted a little there, but let's get back to the question. We're discussing the duality of particles and waves and the macro realm. <laughs> oh, so you're in the new town. Don't you think it's great? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pardon? There's hardly anyone moving in there. After all, it's really expensive there. Mm. Maybe you're like rich or something. No, not really. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so what after-school club are you joining? How about the Arts and Crafts Club? What do you mean, the Arts and Crafts Club? I thought you said the Tennis Club. The oh, Arts and Crafts Club? I was in Arts and Crafts last That's year. That's the it's worst club. That's so they have the worst boring. kids, the worst I mean, teacher, really, I mean, and everything about them is so juvenile. Time. It's just, uh, Everywhere you <laughs> yeah, you every sure class, she wants really to talk nice to everyone, and she's just crazy. <laughs> 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 Misaki and Atsumi, sure, get caught up in some strange things. I guess you can't stand it unless you're the center of attention. Hmm? <laughs> so, she says she'd be happy if only the world isn't destroyed. <laughs> Must be an idiot. <laughs> hey. <laughs> What's up? So, I heard that the new girl lives in the new town. <laughs> yeah, she moved into my building. Oh, oh yeah, is that right? <laughs> yeah, I ran into her yesterday. Hmm. Maybe there's some type of bond between us and the new girl, huh? huh? <sighs> it's getting so run down, you think they've lowered the price. You know, I heard that huh? the people living there are really against that. Yeah, like me, Dory's place.
that book. Mm -hmm. uh, is it interesting? It's the Lord of the Rings. It's Tolkien. My father is a British citizen. Oh, really? It's a good story. He was a painter and met my mother in Montmartre. They had a big romance and took off for New York. And in order to feed his family, he had to work himself so hard that he died. Just kidding. Oh, it was a lie? He was regular Japanese. He was a straight-up company man. But the shock from being laid off made him take off. <laughs> take your choice. <laughs> Which is the truth, then? Well, both. Huh? While you listened, you imagined each of those scenarios, right? What you imagine with your mind is all a part of reality. <laughs> oh. Oh, who did this? <sighs> Beautiful. Yeah? She wants to turn the library into a flower garden. Whoever did this. like me. Huh? <laughs> People moved in, uh, down below. Their daughter's in the same class as Midori. Must mean the value of these condos is finally bottoming out. You know, you may be right. Do you know when we're gonna put a train line through here? It should have been completed two years ago. There is a subway line, though. If you take the bus, then, it's 20 minutes away. Mm. What are they like? Huh? Who's that? The people who moved in. Oh, a mother and daughter. The father's British, and apparently he took off. What? Thanks for dinner. Is that true? Who knows? A transfer student. Could be hard to get to know. She's a bit unsociable. Yet I feel a sense of fondness towards her for some reason. It's as if...
Yamazawa. What do you think of this school? Uh, it's like a hospital. Hospital? First of all, the students are all patients, and the teachers are the doctors, and they correct any behavior that's out of line. <sighs> Our school isn't like that at all. This is a free school. <sighs> These corrections take place without us knowing. And we're all forced to adapt to this world. All the time. <gasps> Come on in. <clears throat> wow. What? A girl's room. This is what it looks like. What? Are you being sarcastic? No, not at all. I just don't know about these things. Hey. Hmm? It's almost as if you're from another world. <sighs> know what? Hmm? I'm not originally from this world. What? From a world in another dimension. I crossed over. Uh. I lived in another world with my mother. And it was destroyed. So you're saying it's all my fault? Of course it is! You're never here when we need you! You selfish dog! Oh. Understand because you're selfish. Are you saying that I didn't raise a child? Who was the one who took care of Mayumi until kindergarten? It was my mother. You never understood how important that period of my life was to me. You just didn't want to deal with it. You're a coward. You're telling me that I haven't been a good father. Well, there's no way you could have been a mother. You have no right to take custody of Mayumi. We'll settle this in court. Do you understand what I'm telling you? You talk nonsense. Uh, I don't I have to listen to of you. All the women that I knew, I ended up marrying a coward. mother and I survived. That was the first time that I crossed over the dimension barrier. Dimension barrier? Your body becomes a wave. When that happens, your wavelength will resonate with another world. The next thing you know, you've crossed over. <sighs> Is that what you were talking about in physics class? Yeah. A completely separate space that clearly exists. <laughs> the interesting part is that when you cross dimensions, the world you go to will always accept you. Huh. What do you mean? For example, when we came to this world, there was no need to worry about identities or schools or anything. We changed the world a little bit, so that we can fit into it. 
It tries to digest the foreign matter that suddenly comes in. <sighs> it's like a food then. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. You see, moving in as a transfer student undoubtedly minimizes all the changes in the new world. But I also have to carry out all the new identities that I've taken. Uh, that's how my mother and I have been crossing into many different worlds. Uh, hey, if we all have that ability, I'd like to cross into another world. You want to try it? Take my hands. <gasps> now close your eyes. Hmm. Relax your spirit and clear your mind and remove yourself from this world. Once you do that, then some kind of power will automatically transport us to another dimension. Yeah, right. We've crossed over. What do you mean? Nothing's changed. It may look that way, but it's a different world. Well, let's say you were born two minutes earlier, so this dimension will be off by two minutes. Uh, what do you mean? As we're having this conversation, the world is recreating itself infinitely. From the infinite world created in our imaginations, all we are doing is accepting that one of them is real to determine who we are. I told you that anything you imagine in your mind is all a part of reality. But wait, why is it that you and your mother have been traveling to different worlds? That's because Every world we go to ends up being completely destroyed, just like the world of our origin. Every time it happens, I have to take my mother and then escape that dimension in the hopes that we'll find a world we can stay in. We're dimension travelers. Dimension travelers. Boy. Hmm? I bet oh, you like no, it, right? No, Stop that. Put that down. <laughs> I bet you were staring at him at school, right? It's not like that at all. <laughs> I can see right through you. <laughs> I once, huh? Told him how I felt. He jilted me. Uh, it's okay. I'm fine. I'm over it now.
Yamazawa. Huh? What is it? Uh, well? Uh, huh? What's it like transferring to a new school? What's this all about? Well, you transferred into this school when you were in junior high, right? And so, I figured you would know something about how it felt. Oh, sure. You must be thinking about the new girl in your class. Yeah. She's a lot like I was. It's as if she actually knows that the world will be destroyed soon. Mire! Huh? What are you doing here? Huh? You know, Mire, you seem to be getting along great with Oase. You think she's gonna join a club or something? Who knows? Why ask? Yeah, I was asked by that girl's basketball coach to try and recruit her. Could you talk to her about it for me? Uh, why do I have to? Oh yeah, I've been meaning to tell you this. Oh, don't talk to me in such a familiar way. <laughs> People might get the wrong idea. Look, we've known each other since we were kids, right? So I'm counting on you. Talk to her. Sorry, I'm late. Midori, let's go home yeah. together. <gasps> Where's Mayumi? You mean the new girl? Oh, I don't know. I'm sorry. Probably in the library again. I see. I'm sorry. I have to go and find her. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's fine. I'll go on home by myself then. Bye. Okay. Bye. 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 from the underground, right? What? What do you mean? Well, aren't you? Don't tell me you're from the castle! The castle? Of course not. They're the ones who run this place. I won't be fooled. What on earth are you talking about? Watch out for the control rays! Control rays? Who are you? 
If you run into my group, I want you to tell them that the castle can be reached from Route 13. Route 13! Don't forget! Route 13? How will I know your group? They're coming! <coughs> Here, dear. I brought some flowers. What? You collapsed by the flower stand. I guess you wanted to see flowers. I understand. Midori, dear. You've always liked flowers. I'll tell the doctor, sweetheart. Don't worry. You'll be out of here soon. Miss Kagawa. All right. I'll ask you one more time. One, two, What's this? Four, five, six, that is the new town. And do you think you live here? Yes. I live with my father and mother, the three of us. Then, exactly what is this? That's the school. And you're a high school student here? Yes. You know. You don't actually go to this school. You've been in this hospital for years. What's the matter? Why can't you answer? You're the one that made this thing, isn't that right? Yes, probably, but... It's interesting. You like to make these dioramas and play in your world of imagination. And now you actually think this town and this school exists, as if they're real. The truth is, you've been a patient here for many, many years. You've been getting treatment so you can return to society. I suppose it's all right. Santo, one moment. Yes. I believe the delusions of the patients are starting to interfere with each other. I want total isolation. But it's impossible to ensure complete separation. It's okay, Mary. Just be positive. Grandma will be waiting, all right? Grandma. Huh, Grandma? Oh? Who the heck are you talking about? Oh, hi. Excuse me, I've got to do some shopping. Uh, 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 
You're all fixed up now. Uh, thank you. So, Mayumi, what's this about? They attacked us. They got the third bunker. And only the fourth bunker is left. Who's they? What kind of a world did you go to? When I was escaping, I was drawn to you. Did you cross over too? There was an effect on me. But it might have even been because of you that I was able to come back. I didn't do anything though. I couldn't save anyone. It's always just me. Hang on. Where's Meadery? Probably with that girl again. They seem to be totally into each other these days. Bye. See you. Bye. Bye. Uh -huh. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hey, do you ever wonder sometimes? What? <laughs> They've got all these books lined up like that, right? Imagine that you leave them there for years or even decades, and the letters all escape from inside when no one's looking, <laughs> all rearranging themselves. The next thing you know, they're telling different stories. <laughs> you funny. You crack me up. <laughs> when I was little, my dad got me the book Alice in Wonderland. <gasps> I'd believe that the pictures would be moving even when the book was closed. <laughs> I'd hold on to it carefully, and every now and then I'd peek inside. Like this? Oh, you know what I mean, right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, keep it down! <laughs> so tell me, what were you like then? Oh, I was... Mm, a real unlikable child. Um, we're very much alike. I'm so glad. Yesterday, it was announced that the satellite Mayutos had left its stable orbit, much to the surprise of ground personnel here in the Space Center. Additionally, according to predictions by the experts brought together by the UN Task Force, Mayutos is expected to crash anywhere from the Yangtze south for 10 They found miles. a large crack in the Unit 8. The location is unpredictable. If the satellite is not destroyed in the atmosphere, the scientists are deeply concerned... They the say it's because of shoddy construction. Said to be highly Maybe unstable. we're not safe. Although the How can we be sure? There is no immediate danger to the population. Are you hearing me? The government is being urged to take all yeah. steps necessary to divert the satellite. Please don't eat while reading the newspaper. Stay tuned to this network for further Thank you for dinner. As and when they happen. You're a lucky girl. The control ray treatment is quite hard to get. What's a control ray treatment? There's nothing for you to worry about. You'll leave after you finish treatments. That's what happens when you resist. I'm sure you're not that stupid, are you? Now 
Now, now, don't you try to run away. Get away. got to put it on. Bunker. I know he'll come back to life. No matter what I say, she just won't listen to me. After all, as they say, no matter what, we can't break the second law of thermodynamics. <laughs> but I know if I do this, my body heat will be transferred to it.
the graveyard of the lost memories. <gasps> It's a record of the world. It's very important. Even if all is destroyed, it'll serve as unmistakable proof that this world existed. <laughs> Mayumi is calling for you. Mayumi? <gasps> You'll be all right. Bunkers one and two? They've been destroyed. How about number three? Most of them are dead. They've been knocked out of battle. What are the latest reports we have for number five? There are nine remaining at number five, 12 dead. Number six, 12 dead, eight remaining. So, number four here is all that's left. Damn it all! Midori! Mayumi! Are you all right? How are you feeling? My head hurts a bit. You're just still feeling the effects of the control rays. Did you meet with the haberdasher? Uh -huh. Haberdasher? Huh. I see. Come with me. Against who? Against the enemy. That's the Castle of Pleasure. What? Everyone but the Resistors have gone there, whether they want to or not. The people that are here now are the only ones still resisting. And what happens to the people who go over there? They're subjected to frequencies and forced into living their delusions. To them, the delusions are real. I see. Everything I've seen up until now is... Control rays! This is a powerful one! This way! Lower the frequency barrier! Has it that you're like glued to the new student these days? Oh, what's that supposed to mean? I don't really mean anything by it, Meadery. I'm just simply stating a fact. Does there seem to be a problem? I'm not saying that exactly, but your friendship with others is suffering pretty badly. That's what you're saying. I'll see you later. Wait a oh, minute. I'm just worried let about go. you, okay? <gasps> Yamazawa? Hmm? Yamazawa? I'm not surprised. So she's still thinking about Yamazawa. forgotten where you came from you must remember
Didn't you notice, huh? That Yamazawa was also a dimension traveler. What? He transferred here when he was in junior high, right? Even so, I'm sure that's when he first came into this world. But you know, he might have already forgotten about that. <sighs> My mother's forgetting. The details of the world that we originally came from. What? As she carries out her role in the new world, her memories are adapted to that of this world. In order not to forget about the world that we were in, we can't just stay in one place. And so, we must keep crossing over into other dimensions. Forever. Does that mean... you cross into that underground bunker world because... Uh, um, at this rate, I don't know how much longer that world will last. Can't something be done? Don't you go there because you want to do something about it? Let's do something about it! We've no choice but to go to the castle. But... No one's made it to the castle so far. Though they wanted to. <sighs> There's supposed to be a secret passageway, though. You get to the castle by Route 13. Huh? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Maybe there's some type of bond between us and the new girl. <sighs> Yamazawa. Damn. This is Route 13. However, it is dangerous. We'll go anyway. Somebody has to check it out. Huh. I see. So you did see the haberdasher? Haberdasher? He was the leader of the Resistance. Before I came here. He was also the one who made these. For all of us. This is Route 13. Midori. Huh? Yes. Um, watch out for Miami.
Beyond these doors is the castle. That's right. Let's go. Yeah? Kagawa residence. Hi, Mrs. Owase. This is Koichi. Oh, Koichi, dear. It's been a long time. I haven't seen you since we moved here. How about visiting soon? Well, I I'm calling because I'm really concerned about Midori. Midori, yeah. Well, uh, she's not home just yet. Ah, uh, I knew it. I'm sure she's fine. I'm sure she's just running late. Ah, uh, no. I was just a little worried. Well, then, do you think you know where she might have gone tonight? Uh, I believe she's with Mayume Awase. The Awase girl? You mean the transfer student? Excuse me. Has she been talking about Yamazawa? What? Yamazawa? I don't know. I want you to apologize. You know you were wrong for staying out all night. I'm sorry. Who are you with? I did get a call from Koichi last night. From Koichi? That's right. Iwase was with you, wasn't she? How could he? Koichi was simply worried about you. Anyway, you're not to go out with her again. Come on! That's enough out of you! And researchers say that if this satellite were to crash to Earth, the nuclear fallout may extend over a radius of 200 kilometers. It's almost time to go, the dear. Radiation level, that would be I know that. Blast, Hurry up and get changed, Midori. You're going to be late for school. Yeah. 
that of the Hiroshima bomb threatening We'll finish this when I get back. Other natural resources that will have a serious effect on Japan. Good grief. The international community is also deeply concerned because scientists say that the negative effects on the air we breathe and the water we drink will not be limited to the country of Japan. Mm. Mother? Thank you. Don't worry. I'll be off, too. Just in case, I'll leave this open a bit. Who are you talking to? What do you mean? I was talking to your grandmother. What? My mom's acting kind of strange. Said she wants to talk to me when I get back. Is it about staying out all night? I don't know. I saw him in Castletown. I'm sure it was Yamazawa. No one else has seen him at school today, have they? Mm hmm. I wonder if something happened. Hmm. You told my mom about yesterday, didn't you? What are you trying to do? Hey, Awase. Huh? Are you getting me to re-wrapped up in some weird stuff? Uh, how dare you! Hey, I'm not talking to you! Don't talk to me like that! I'm trying to talk to Awase. I'm not the one you should be asking. She hasn't been the same since you came here. What the hell are you two up to anyway? We haven't done anything wrong. Let's go. Move. Wait a minute, hang on. You gonna run away? Just remember this. There's more than one reality to see. What are you talking about? Koichi. Drop dead. Doctor. Midori. This is Dr. Konoike. He's an acquaintance of someone at your dad's company. He's a specialist who can talk to you. He's like a counselor. He's here to help you. This is my daughter, Dr. Konoike. Don't panic. Nice to meet you. This doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with you psychologically. Mm. I just thought it would be good if there was someone who could help you with your problems. Do you understand, Midori? <laughs> Midori! <laughs> Stop 
Stop! Where are you going? <laughs> Doctor from the Corrections Hospital? That's right! What's going on here? Beatery! Dimensions are affecting each other. What do you mean affecting each other? Uh, the situations on each of the dimensions are getting mixed up. What's going on here? Yamazawa! Where am I? Aren't you Kagawa? Yamazawa! Uh, what happened? Uh, now I get it. You were the one in the next room at the hospital. You're the haberdasher, right? Haberdasher? Yeah, right. I remember now. I used to be called the Haberdasher here. Huh? Uh, you're the Haberdasher? Hey, what happened huh? in the world you were just in? What went on? The delusions... ...of one of the patients in here was realized and... ...destroyed that world. Is it possible? A satellite loaded with nuclear fuel crashed. ...that unintentionally triggered a world war!
I was just barely able to make it out. <laughs> No matter what, I couldn't save anyone else! <laughs> Grandma! Grandma will be waiting, all right? <laughs> it looks like this place will be finished soon. But why? Why is it that all the worlds are being destroyed at once? Yamazawa, did you say that the delusions of one patient were realized? Yes, a mutation. Capables. That's the name they called us. At some point, there was a mutation that enabled some to turn their imaginations into reality. Imaginations into reality? In time. There were those that were able to create entire worlds through their imaginations. The enemy couldn't leave such dangerous people alone. The Capables were taken away to that hospital and controlled. But even I... And you too... I'm a Capable too? Then that means... The new town and the school... Are my delusions? More than just delusions. It's a true reality. Listen now. You're just believing that's how it is because of the control rays. Haberdasher. Oh. That's right. The control rays are powerful manipulators. What is reality then? Try to remember, Midori, that everything you imagine in your mind is a part of reality. Crossing dimensions, realizing delusions, control rays. It's all the same, only the perceptions are different. So that's how it is. I'm starting to understand now. Huh? Why the world is being destroyed? It's our own fault, you know. How's that? Is it the dimension crossing? <laughs> oh no! They were saying that at the hospital. That the delusions of the Capables were affecting each other. It's bad for the Capables to come together. Including us! That hospital brought Capables all to one place. The delusions affect each other and destroy worlds! But that explains events here and in the new town. It's all our fault? Just because three people who can cross dimensions come together? Seems that way. Oh no! Then what are we supposed to do? Are you saying that we can't be together? That's what it means. <gasps> oh no! We might still be able to save the world, here in the new town. The world hasn't been completely fixed yet. If we just cross into separate dimensions, the world may yet be saved. We must split up now. Talking to me, Dory. <gasps> what has happened to you? I Where's Awase? Isn't she with you? You've crossed into other dimensions, haven't you? A few times. Yamazawa's gone. It's time you gave up on him. 
What do you want from me? He was my best friend, Midori. I miss him. Stop where you are! Just leave me alone! Let's go to a world where we've never been. I know that. Huh? Yamazawa! Hmm? So do you see him somewhere? Midori, listen now! Don't tell me you actually see him there. You must come out of this! This isn't going to get you anywhere! Please stay away! Uh? I may have been... jilted by him once before. That's not it! What? Yamazawa committed suicide. One spring day, during the school's culture fair event, six months after he transferred, no one knows why, he jumped off the roof that day. That's a lie. <laughs> It's the truth! And sadly, he died that day. You were never able to tell him how you felt about him. Oh no. That's a lie! Yamazawa, say he's wrong! T tell me that's a lie! Y Yamazawa! That day... I definitely ended my life. She's saying something right. I know that is a possibility. So now, I know I'm right. But try to remember that. What Mayumi said. There is more than one reality. So do you hate this reality that much? Do you still care about him that much? You know, you've been in my heart for a long time. What's more, I'm deeply in love with you! dimensions, I'd have to abandon everyone I knew and start over. But you can live in a world like that as well. Midori! 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 Never forget about you, Midori. So let's go. Don't go. <laughs> so goodbye.
six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four. A rainbow, a magical light that the world resolutely displays in the sky after a rain. Our existence within that world is like the elementary particles that make up everything. And the waves, through collision and interference, they suddenly change all of the elements. After that, I was never to remain in one place, but never to forget anything. <laughs> 